Welcome to the module on creating embedded web experiences with tabs for Microsoft Teams. Hi, I'm Andrew Connell. I'm a Microsoft MVP in the area of Microsoft 365 development. I have a lot of experience with SharePoint development, Microsoft Graph, Microsoft Teams, developing add-ins for Microsoft Office, as well as developing applications for Microsoft Identity, including Azure Active Directory. This video is the first in a series of videos on this Microsoft Learning Module. This video is also part of a playlist that includes all the videos that are associated with this module so you can watch them in order. The playlist and all its included videos are associated with a Microsoft Learning Module that includes hands-on lab exercises and additional resources. Check the notes for this video and the associated playlist for more information and where to find the Microsoft Learning Module. Okay, let's get started. Tabs are Microsoft Teams Aware web pages that are embedded inside of Microsoft Teams. They can be added as part of a channel or as a group chat inside a team or as a personal app for an individual user. As part of your app, you can add custom tabs to embed your own web content in Teams. In this module, you're gonna learn how to create tabs and how to add them to your Microsoft Teams app. There are two types of tabs available in Teams, channel and group and personal tabs. A channel or group tab delivers content on channels and group chats. A channel or group tab is a great way to create collaborative spaces around dedicated web-based content. Personal tabs, along with direct conversation bots, are part of personal apps and can be scoped to a single user. They can be pinned to the left pane and promote increased productivity by making your service available directly inside of the Microsoft Teams client. In this module, you're gonna learn how to create both types of tabs for use within Microsoft Teams. In this section, we'll learn how to create tabs in Microsoft Teams apps. We're specifically gonna cover the Microsoft Teams extensibility overview options, Microsoft Teams tabs, and how to create custom tabs for Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams enables developers to create custom experiences for users. For the best and most extensible option for adding to your service into Teams, you can create Microsoft Teams apps. A Microsoft Teams app is a package of services that you're gonna host. The services can be distributed through the Microsoft Teams product or uploaded by owners. The apps can consist of tabs, bots, messaging extensions, or webhooks and connectors. For quick one-off integration of your existing webhook, you can take advantage of the custom bot feature. You can use this ad hoc extensibility option to set up webhooks or notifications in a specific team with no additional coding required. So what is a Microsoft Teams app? You can use apps in Microsoft Teams to make your service available to your users in contexts or scopes that make the most sense. You declare precisely what capabilities you support and which scopes via your app package's manifest file. Microsoft Teams app capabilities such as bots and tabs are available in most scopes. These capabilities are offered via a single Microsoft Teams app package that users can acquire through the Microsoft Teams in product at gallery or the Microsoft store. And they can also be uploaded directly by your organization. So how do you create a custom Microsoft Teams app? Well, first you're gonna develop the components that support your Microsoft Teams app. Microsoft Teams apps are web applications that can be created by using HTML, TypeScript, or JavaScript, or client-side web framework such as React, or any server-side framework such as .NET. Microsoft Teams app can be standalone or they can integrate with Microsoft Teams. Microsoft provides a JavaScript SDK for interactivity within the Microsoft Teams client and bot framework SDK for building bots. And then after you finish creating the application, the final step is to package it up and deploy the application. Every Microsoft Teams app contains a manifest file that describes all aspects of your app. The manifest includes the URLs and the unique identifiers for the components that you created to implement the application. After you create the manifest, create a package that includes the manifest and associated images used by the app. This package is a zip file. Before uploading and publishing the package, you need to deploy all the resources that implement the app. And these resources are gonna include web pages and services used within tabs, bots, and webhooks. Now this section is gonna focus on creating custom tabs for Microsoft Teams. So what is a Microsoft Teams tab? By using a Microsoft Teams tab, you can display rich interactive web content within Microsoft Teams clients. There are two approaches to creating a custom tab. You can take an existing web app experience and adapt it to a custom tab, and you can also build a tab from scratch. Microsoft Teams tabs are web applications that are hosted by the provider or the developer 
of the application. A tab in Microsoft Teams displays the specified web app within an iframe of the Microsoft Teams client. While Microsoft Team tabs are iframes that display web pages, there are some differences between interacting with the web app within Microsoft Teams uh, clients compared to browsing the exact same content in a web experience. Microsoft Teams tabs always display web content in an iframe where the web page is loaded in any web browser. In this way, you can create unique experiences with the web app for only Microsoft Teams by limiting where the application is hosted. For instance, you can limit a web page to be displayed within a web, an iframe only from a specific domain, such as teams.microsoft.com. Authentication is also handled differently in a Microsoft Teams tab as compared to a web app either via a pop-up window or by calling Azure Active Directory to fetch tokens. Most websites redirect uh, to a sign-in provider that typically breaks custom tabs um, that are hosted inside of an iframe. Tabs break in this experience because the sign-in pages typically don't load within an iframe to prevent clickjacking. Cross-domain navigation is handled differently in tabs from a web app. The Teams client needs to validate the origin against a static valid domains list in the app manifest when it loads or it communicates with the tab. Microsoft Teams tabs can be styled uh, to match the current Microsoft Teams client theme, such as the default, dark, or high contrast. And developers of Microsoft Teams tabs can also communicate with uh, hosting Microsoft Teams clients by using a JavaScript uh, SDK the SDK gives Teams a communication channel with the hosted page and more visibility into its operation. Microsoft Teams determines where a tab can be used based on its scope. The scope is set in the app manifest and can be one of three different values. The team scope uh, includes tabs that are in channels that can be used by Teams to interact with your shared experience. These tabs are referred to as channel tabs um, and they were previously known as configurable tabs. When these tabs are added to a team, a user configures the content of your tab experience when the tab is first added to the channel. Channels can also be used in group chats. These are conversations between two or more users. And by using personal tabs, users can interact with your experience privately. The content in a personal tab is only relevant to individual users.